good Sunday morning. We are on our way to church. Then after church, we are going out to brunch at a little place. Um, not too far from the church. Oh, I should have put this in my holder, sorry. Um, it used to be an old train station and now it's turned into a little cafe. It's adorable. They have some really different dishes, not necessarily just your basic omelets and eggs and stuff. And Doug and I were there two weeks ago, so I think I already know what I'm getting. He had the veggie crepes and they were delicious. So I think that's what I may get. I'll have to look at the menu again. Um, we'll see. But we're gonna do that. I have to pick up just a few things at the grocery store to make Andrew's Big Mac Sloppy Joes for him to take back to school with him. Get him packed up and on the road because I'm a nervous wreck. This is the first time he is driving back to school by himself. He's taking his car back. So I've got those mom nerves going on about that. And I don't know what else I'm doing today. Um, maybe getting a little craft stuff done. I'm not sure. I ended up not reading my book last night because I worked for three hours uploading yesterday's video. It actually went very smoothly. It just took forever because it was 19 individual videos. And ever since the Windows 10 update, I used to be able to plug my phone in to the computer and it would upload. Sometimes not always very easily, but eventually I would get it. Now with the Windows 10 update, it will not do it at all. So I have to take each video and email them to myself using MailDrop, open up the email on the computer, download them to the computer, upload them to the editing program. When it's all done, I have to export it to a full file, then upload it to YouTube. It's ridiculous. If somebody knows a better way between a PC and an iPhone, please let me know. Please, because it's making me crazy. Really, three hours last night. Now granted, my video was ridiculously long yesterday, but I threw in those two cook with me's, that's why. But yeah, three hours is way too long. I mean, I love doing this, don't get me wrong, I do, but I don't love being up till 1 a.m. So, what else? Um, yeah, if anybody has any ideas for me, let me know. And that's about it. So today I may just read my book. I don't know, I don't know what's going on. I do wanna hit some Columbus Day sales over at the outlets, cause I need black shoes. So maybe tomorrow, since we're all off. I don't know, we'll see what happens, but we're almost to church and when we get to brunch, I will show you the cute little place we're going and I will show you what we all decided to order. There's Doug's breakfast. He has, what is it? Quiche. What kind of quiche? Uh, With potato pancakes. Andrew's is toast, eggs, potatoes, and sausage gravy. And a side of bacon. Adam has French toast. I have more coming. And he has a Scramble side eggs. of eggs and bacon. bacon coming. And they messed up mine, so I'm still waiting. And here's my breakfast. It is veggie crepes and it's potatoes. It's the crepes have feta, asparagus, mushrooms in a crepe with hollandaise sauce. There was a hoagie sale at church today, so the boys all bought hoagies. And I just took a little tiny, I don't know, two inch, three inch piece off of the end of one. And that will be my lunch. I'm guessing I'll throw about three, four points at it. Dinner time. Not a very colorful plate. I just noticed that. We should have thrown some greens on there. I have a roast chicken mash, for zero points, mashed potatoes for three points, and corn for zero points. And wait, no, the mashed potatoes are four points. I'll double check, it'll be on the screen. And then I'm gonna throw a point at the gravy. The roast chicken recipe comes from Amy over at Amy Common Sense Southern. That is the name of her YouTube and her website. It is the best roast chicken ever. So make sure if you wanna make a roast chicken that you use her recipe. Okay, here is dessert. It is an apple hand pie. They came out huge. It is three points worth of the two ingredient dough and zero points worth of the crock pot apples that I made yesterday. Threw it in the air fryer, accidentally cooked it a little too long because we are in the middle of watching a movie. 
yeah and stayed in there a little too long but i know it's still going to be delicious so that's it for my day of eating i ended the day at 22 out of 23 smart points and the movie we are watching you are going to laugh we have never ever seen before and it's all anyone ever talks about this time of year it's hocus pocus never seen it before so yeah first time for everything so have a great night, everyone, and I will be back tomorrow with another full day of eating.